Good morning. It's 7.57, February 26th. Um, this title, I guess I'm going to say, uh, Exposing the Darkness, Being in the Light. Okay? Exposing Darkness. That's why I say, as long as we stay in the Word of God, we're gonna, it's going to be revealed to us, okay? But we have to stay in the Word of God. The deception's great out there, you guys. It's, re it's real great. It's right in your face. You know, you can, let me ask you something. You can tell when you're in the, in the presence of something that is true and something that is maybe deceptive, okay? When you're focusing and reading in the Word of God and you're getting Scripture, you know that it's true, okay? But when you're listening to people that are showing deceptions, things that were used to deceive you, is that coming from this no, it's not. It's coming from darkness, okay? They're showing you only what they've used to deceive you this far to the point of the destruction, okay? Now, these verses, we're going to go over 2 Corinthians and Luke, uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and Luke 11. We're going to read the whole, I uploaded a couple of small ones there. Now, we're going to go over these whole uh, chapters here because uh, this explains everything you need to know about the times that we're in and the things that people are using to deceive you now and YouTube is full of it I mean full of it be very careful man now here we are in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 therefore seeing we have this ministry as we received mercy, we faint not. In other words, we're in some difficult times right now, you guys. Make no mistake about it, okay? Therefore, seeing we have received this ministry, as we have received mercy. We have received mercy, you guys. We've been chosen, okay? Many are called, few are chosen. We faint not, but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, Listen to this. We have renounced, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness. In other words, what's happening, man, when they're showing you all their deceptions? That's like, you know, going and seeing an abracadabra act. Now you see it, now you don't, now you do. See, now we're showing you all this craftiness that was used, okay? Now, don't you think your eyes would be more better focused on what was eternal than what is deceptive? Do you see what I'm saying? You're watching the things that were more used to deceive you rather than uh, the Lord and the light, things that are eternal. The hidden things of dishonesty, that's what these things were. They were hidden, weren't they? Dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay? In whom the God of this world has blinded. Okay? Satan has blinded the minds of them, okay, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine into them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ, Jesus the Lord, ourselves, your servant for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, okay? Remember you guys, light versus the darkness. Know this, when people are revealing to you darkness, that's deception. Your, your, your eyes more focused on the evil, the deception, than it is the light, Christ. That's not redeeming your time. That's just being 
further deceived. Your eye is focused more on the evil, the darkness. We know the time that we're living in. This is the time that we need to be drawing closer to Christ. For God has commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Okay? Of God, not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are troubled on every side, but not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies, in our bodies. For we which live are already delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body, in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise us up also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many be downed to the glory of God, for which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Okay? The outward man perish, but the inward man is renewed. You know, our inward, in other words, our spirit, you guys. We have to be born again, okay? For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay? We can clearly see the evil, uh, the transformation happening in the evil in the world today. Clearly, you can see it, um, depending on where you're at. You know, if you're living, like, in the general population, you'll see it. But if you're living in an area where you don't have to see it, then you're not going to see it. You know, some people are living in a bubble. Most of us are not. You know, um, these are the times that we live in, you guys. This is it, okay? But while we look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. So in other words, the things that are seen right now, you guys, Satan's got everybody blinded right now by the things that they're seeing, okay? All these things. And there's a lot of these things that are being revealed to you right now you, you know your eyes have been opened. You don't need to focus on those things, but on the things that are eternal. Okay? Now, let me go to, uh, that was Second Corinthians. I just fed them all out there. But there are more squirrels than there are anything. <laughs> okay. Luke. Let's go to Luke and uh, go over this one chapter. I wanted to do both whole chapters for this study. It's very important, you guys. I woke up this morning, and this is what I came up with. Um, very important. And I hope you can see it, the truth that's in it, because the darkness is here around us, and it's being revealed to you now. Everybody's having their eyes filled 
with what was used to deceive you or to deceive the majority of everybody. Okay? Luke 11, chapter 11. Chapter 11. We'll do this one and we'll be done with it for today, you guys. But this is a good one, you guys. We're going to do this whole chapter, okay? This is uh, chapter 11. It goes to 36 verses. And it came to pass that he was praying in a certain place when he seized one of his disciples and said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say our Father, okay? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As in heaven, so on in the earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It's a very simple prayer, you guys. It's a prayer I would do daily, every evening even. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is a friend, yet because of his t impurity, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that speaketh seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he then give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks of an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Jesus is accused of working with Beelzebub, and he was casting out devils, and it was dumb, and it came to pass when the devil was gone out. The dumb spoke, and the people wondered. Some, But some of them said, he casteth out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. And others, tempting him, sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because you say that it it cast out devils through Beelzebub, and if I, by Beelzebub, cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I, the finger of God, cast out, the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. 
When a strong man armed keepeth his place, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he, wit, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest. And finding none, he saith, I will return to my house whence I came. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. And it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yeah, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. The Sign of Jonah and when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation, and they seek signs, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For Jonas was a sign unto the Nevenites. So shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up, in judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them for she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold a greater than Solomon is here and the men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it and they repented at for they repented at the preaching of Jonah and behold a greater than Jonah is here now here's where Jesus talks about the light which this is about focus on the light you guys verse 33 st. Luke okay chapter 11 33 no man when he has lighted a candle put it in a secret place neither under a bushel but on a candlestick that they which come in may see the light. Okay? The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when the eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when the eye is evil, the body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. For thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part uh, dark. The whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle does give thee light. Yeah, this is where I'm saying we have to really, really be careful here because uh, the deception is great. There's a lot of deception out there, man. You guys know this. Without me even having to tell you this, you know it. All right, when we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. All right, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. We read that one first. Well, we look not at the things which are seen. All right, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal, okay? You know, stop and think about it, you guys. What should you be really focusing on? Should we be focusing on the Word of God? Okay, what's written, the rock that we should be standing on? Or should we be focusing on all the deception that was used to deceive you to where we're at today? The evil that's at hand. 
what should we be more focused on? All the wickedness that's being shown on YouTube? Oh, look, I can show you this, what they're doing. They're doing this too. They're doing that. They're doing this. They're doing that. And I'm not hearing enough of this. I don't hear enough of this. What, what God has done for us, you know, what God is telling us to do. He said for us to comfort one another, edify one another. Um, we're to be strengthening one another until he comes for us. And there's a lot of deception, man, on, on tell a vision, you know. Remember, man, they're still working, and YouTube is flooded with it right now. I guarantee it's flooded. And the reason why it's flooded there is because they know a lot of us are coming together there. And um, there's just a lot of deception out there, you guys. We really need to be focused on the things that are more eternal, the things not seen in our kingdom, you know, let our, our uh, we need to be seeking his light, not the darkness, you know, because that's what's been happening here is they're exposing darkness to you when we need to be getting exposed into the light, okay? I mean, stop and ask yourself, man, do you want to be exposed to the darkness of this world or would you rather be exposed to the light Remember, Jesus is coming with the brightness of his coming, the light. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ.